Hi everyone, I am back with yet another problem in computer organization from the topic instruction pipelining. This question was asked in the year 2014 in set 1 for 2 marks. The question is, consider a 6 stage instruction pipeline where all stages are perfectly balanced. So here what is meant by perfectly balanced is that each stage takes same amount of time. Next it is given, assume that there is no cycle time overhead of pipelining. So here what is meant by no cycle overhead of pipelining is that usually the latches which are applied uh, between stages in a pipeline processor uh, incur some overhead. So that has to be neglected while solving this problem. Next it is given, when an application is executing on the 6 stage pipeline, the speed up achieved with respect to non-pipeline execution, if 25% of the instructions incur 2 pipeline stall cycles is. So here we need to calculate speed up of the 6 stage pipeline, pipeline processor over non-pipeline processor. So for the explanation purpose, on the right hand side I have drawn a clock cycle diagram where uh, in unpipeline processor I have shown an instruction completing in six cycles. That means here the number of clock cycles required for an instruction to complete is six. So here if you see I1, um, I1 has started that is uh, it, it has it has got fezzed in the cycle C1, it has started from cycle C1 and it completes uh, in the cycle at the end of the cycle C6 and only after its completion I2 is first and then progresses for completion. So I2 would be completed by the end of cycle C12. So here in this unpipeline processor um, the completion of an instruction needs 6 cycles. Right, so here we can say the cycles required per instruction that is CPI, CPI of this processor, CPI of this processor is 6 cycles per instruction. Right, so now coming to pipeline processor, here as we are talking about 6 stage instruction pipeline, I have divided the execution of an instruction. Uh, in six stages S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 and here also it is mentioned in the problem statement that the stages are perfectly balanced that means each stage incurs or has same amount of latency so that means if an instruction in an pipeline processor uh, was taking six cycles to complete here as we have divided an instruction into six stages each stage would take one cycle to complete, right? So here if you see S1 takes uh, one cycle, likewise all other stages takes one cycle to complete. Overall still an instruction takes six cycles to complete. But what is to be noted here is that after this cycle, that means after C5, after C5 onwards, every cycle, after every cycle an instruction completes from the pipeline and leaves the pipeline. So after C6 instruction 1 completes, after C7, after C7 if you see I2 completes that is instruction 2 completes, after C8 instruction 3 completes. So if we uh, if you consider an ideal 6 stage pipeline then what would, uh, what would happen is that every cycle after completion of every cycle an instruction would complete its task and leave the pipeline right so in that ideal pipeline what would happen is the uh, cycle per instruction would be cycles required per instruction would be equals to one so when we say cycles per instruction that means that the number of extra cycles that is required by an instruction after completion of previous instruction. So here if you see every instruction um, requires an extra cycle, an extra cycle after the completion of its previous instruction, right? So after completion of uh, I2 in the stage in the cycle C7, 
i3 requires just one more cycle to complete its task so at the end of c8 i3 actually completes and leave the pipeline leaves the pipeline so that is what meant by cpi equals to 1 now it is said that the pipeline is not ideal but 25% uh, of the instructions um, incur two pipeline stall cycles that means this 25% instructions would require two more cycles to complete than normal normally it takes one extra cycle after the completion of previous instruction but when it incurs two pipeline stall cycles it would require two more cycles to complete that means one cycle normally plus two more cycle two more cycle to complete its task and leave the pipeline that means on an average 25 percent of the instructions would take three extra cycles after the completion of the previous instruction whereas 75 percent of the instruction would still take one cycle to complete after the completion of the previous instruction right so on an average the cycles per instruction would be calculated like this so cpi would be in this case would be 75 percent of the instructions would take one cycle to complete and whereas 25% of the instruction would take three cycles to complete. So this would be the CPI. So now let us calculate it. 75 by 100 is 0 0.75 into 1 is 0 0.75 and 25 by 100 is 0 0.25 into 3. 0 0.25 into 3 is 0 0.75. And 0.75 plus 0.75 is 1.5. So CPI in case of the six stage pipeline where 25% of the instruction are incurring two pipeline stall cycles is coming out to be 1.5. Whereas in the unpipeline processor we have calculated CPI as to be six, right? So the speed up would be equals to CPI of unpipeline processor divided by CPI of pipeline processor. And CPI of unpipeline processor as we have calculated is 6, whereas CPI of pipeline processor is 1.5. So 6 by 1.5 is 4 and that is the required answer. So thanks for watching. Bye.